Hey guys, James with Newbie Drone here and today I'm going to be showing you how to take an old computer power supply and convert it into a power supply that you can use with your standard LiPo charger. Okay guys, so we have our power supply right here. This is an HP 300 watt power supply. Uh, you can get these sometimes on Craigslist for free or you know next to nothing. Uh, I've seen them from 20 bucks down to five bucks down to free. So these are pretty easy to come by and pretty much the lowest ones are always gonna have enough voltage to uh, wattage to power out your LiPo chargers. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is make sure it's plugged in. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the 24 pin connector. Uh, now you're going to want to jump the green wire for power and then black for ground. Uh, this is pretty universal in all these ATX power supplies. So uh, just for the time being, uh, we're going to just grab, I've made a paper clip and bent it so I can just jump these. What I'll do is I'll stick it in the uh, green wire slot and the black wire one. And that's gonna simulate plugging this into a motherboard and powering it on, since we don't have a direct on button. Next, we're gonna grab our DMM. I'll leave it right there so you guys can see it. And we're gonna wanna find a 12 volt source to power the uh, actual LiPo charger. Uh, in this case, I know just from working on computers that these ATX connectors, usually for graphics cards, have a 12 volt supply. So I'll go ahead and tap this in a ground, and then tap a brown for power. And we can see on our DMM we're getting over 12 volts. So this is going to be the perfect source for us to connect to the actual LiPo charger. All right, I've gone ahead and unplugged everything so there's no power going through anything. We're going to take this ATX connector and we're just going to clip off the factory connector right here with a pair of dikes. Okay, and what we're going to want to do next is uh, strip the power and the ground leads and then we're just going to twist them together to make one wire so it's closer to the size of the XT60 connector we're going to be putting into the actual LiPo charger. Next we're going to grab our male XT60 connector. I've already gone ahead and uh, chopped these off and soldered some stuff on and then we're going to want to have some nice heat shrink wrap so I'm going to slide a uh, green over for ground since I didn't have any black heat shrink and then red for power and then we'll just go ahead and solder these on okay and then we've got two nice soldered connections that are Heat shrink so they're nice and safe. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of this paper clip that's bridging the connection right there, and we're gonna bridge it with a nice piece of wire instead. There we go, now we have a nicer little solution for bridging the 24 pin connector. So let's go ahead and plug this in and test it out. Okay, I'm gonna be using one of our uh, Nitro Nectar 854S batteries. Go ahead and plug this in. Plug the balance connector in. All right, we can see it's detecting the cells. Go ahead and set this charge. I'm gonna change that to one amp. Go ahead and start. And there we go. Using a old computer power supply to power your standard LiPo connector, so that way you can save some money. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy a expensive power supply. If you happen to have one of these laying around, you don't mind doing a little work on your own. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.